So this is week 57 quiz and number 237 says in convex octagon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Shown here, each side has its length 6 units and diagonals A and C, G have length 16 units. If the octagon is symmetric across both diagonals A, E, and C, G, what is the area? So, we find that Oh, wait, let me. So we can see that HG is 6. And because it's symmetric along both the diagonals, we can find that these all of these angles are equal. And all of these angles are equal. So we find that if we connect these, A, C, E, G would just be square because all four sides are equal and the diagonals are equal as well with lengths of 8 and 8. And so if it's like this, then and the all four sides are equal and because of side angle side congruency. And so then from Pythagorean theorem, we find that this length over here is just um, 16 over root 2. Sorry, let me. 16 over root 2 over, yeah, 16 over root 2 because of the 45, 45, 90 triangle we see here from the square. And we see that this equals to 8 root 2. And therefore, 4 root 2 equals each of these segments. And we all know we also know there's a six here. And from Pythagorean theorem, we find that six squared equals to four root two squared plus that height, which we'll call h. So thirty six equals to thirty two plus h uh, squared squared. And 4 equals h squared, and h has to be positive, so h equals 2. That equals 2. And so that means that the area of the whole octagon is the area of the square, which is just the product of the two diagonals, which is 16 squared and divided by 2, plus each of the four triangles, which are individually. 2 times 4 root 2 over 2, each of the four triangles, and we see that this equals to 128 plus 32 over, oh sorry, there's no root 2 here, that, well no, there is, but this is an 8, because we have 8 of these individual small right triangles. And we find the answer is 128 plus 32 root 3.